Conflict is the natural consequence of God's gift of diversity. Even if we were all made exactly the same, I suspect there would still be conflict. When conflict is addressed in healthy ways, though, it can help us clarify our own opinions and thoughts. And when we listen to another person's perspective, we can learn and grow from their different perspective. God can and has used conflict as a medium of revelation. Conflict, though, is like water in a river. It can be life-giving, but it also can become destructive, even devastating. The scripture focus for this year's annual conference is Colossians 3, 12 through 15, and it calls us to characteristics that lead us toward the healthy relationships in the midst of being unique individuals in one community. When peace controls our heart, it calls us to work through conflict, to learn from and appreciate our differences, and when necessary, to reconnect the separation that is sometimes caused by those differences. This requires commitment and effort and skill. We are peacemakers when we listen to each other deeply, especially if one of us is frustrated or angry. We are peacemakers when we confirm our understanding of what the other has said to us by summarizing what they said, helping them to know that they have been heard and understood, or giving them the opportunity to correct what we have heard. We are peacemakers when we listen for and probe for each person's deep felt needs. And then when we use our God-given creativity to come up with solutions that meet the deep felt needs of everyone involved as much as possible. We are peacemakers when we make the effort to approach conflict in healthy, life-respecting ways. And when we fail, and we will probably fail, God has given us the ability to apologize and to forgive each other. Conflict offers us an opportunity, an opportunity to embody the peace of Christ. May it be so.